In this video, I'll show you what I use as the best cloud backup and website builder for all my photos. All right, now if you're looking to find an alternate way or solution uh, to get unlimited photos now that Google Photos uh, ended their unlimited photo storage since June 1st, now this video is worth checking out. Also, if you're a, an aspiring hobbyist uh, or even a casual photographer wanting to build a portfolio or a website, uh, be sure to stick until the end uh, so you can consider this as well because I'm going to be comparing this with uh, other platforms. Hello guys, Zarin here. Welcome back to my channel. While I do have my own uh, backup workflow that I use as a wedding and event photographer, you can actually check this link up here uh, to uh, find out video. I'm going to highlight and discuss just the online backup this time. So enter Smug Mug. Okay, so this is where I host my website gallery and also where I back up all my photos, including personal, aside from business or clients. Now this is designed to basically showcase your work and uh, to archive or back up your photos. Uh, plus there are other couple uh, features. Um, in addition, they have like an app to basically back up your photos with the smart upload or smug mug upload uh, where I can also organize on the fly. So let's say my client forgot the password on their gallery and I need to make changes on the folder or settings of that gallery. All right, so what is smug mug? Well, it is a code free website builder dedicated for photography. Okay. Now, they do offer different plans for different types of photographers. You know, the main feature I like about this um, aside from building my portfolio is the unlimited photo storage. You know, I remember the days when I used to uh, back up my iPhone photos manually. So what I did was download them on the iCloud just to free up the space and then store it on my hard drive. So since then I had Smug Mug actually since 2011 and that's been my go-to for online photo storage for both personal and backup. I use Google Photos myself, but again, it's geared to, toward mobile users and not really for like photographers. Um, of course, I'm not going to send my link or a gallery to my client using Google Photos, uh, probably just for like quick file transfer. Now, there's no more unlimited storage, so it has ended June the 1st, so any new photos or videos uploaded to Google Photos counts toward the free 15 gigabyte, okay? or if you have additional storage that uh, a user has purchased as a Google One uh, subscription. Now, the free 15 gigabyte or the additional amount of data purchased by the user, uh, they're all shared okay, across uh, Google Drive, Gmail, and Photos. So 100 gigabyte might not be as much if you have lots of photos, again, $30 a year. And then if you go to, let's say two terabytes, uh, that's a whopping $140 a year. So it depends on your purpose, but again, this won't be you know, the best option for me and maybe for you to save all your uh, photos. Now, not a lot of people know, but Amazon Photos offers unlimited photo storage if you're a Prime subscriber. However, that's about $79 Canadian, plus you do get other Prime benefits. Uh, so it's very similar to Google, and I also use this for my iPhone photos, uh, but not so much for videos. Uh, as a Prime subscriber, our main reason here is uh, for Prime delivery, you know, like the free shipping and to watch some other videos not available on Netflix. Now, once you sign up for Smug Mug and has an active subscription, you can actually download their app. It is available for both iOS and Android. Auto upload works by simply just having your iPhone plugged in, connected to Wi-Fi. It'll back up all the photos automatically and puts it into folders organize it by years and months. So photos are automatically set to private. And at the time of this recording for iPhone users, auto uploads are available only for photos and not for videos. So I manually have to upload all the videos, which is fine. Uh, I can just simply select everything and hit upload. And for Android users, both auto upload for photos and videos are actually available. All right, so for Smug Mug apps, um, like I mentioned earlier, you can download it on your phone, also in Windows and Mac, so you can have the auto upload feature. Uh, aside from the plugin, um, you can also have uh, the photos display on your Apple TV, 
I've never done that myself, or at least not yet, but uh, again, let me know in the comments below if you've tried that. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the apps. Now, I'm just going to quickly compare with other uh, website builder. In terms of comp competition, it, it might not have extensive uh, templates, you know, as a website builder, but the available templates that you'll find here, for the most part, are good enough. Again, it's a no-code uh, website builder, and most of the most of the templates here are easy to use like drag and drop so you'll pick a template customize it and you're done because think of it guys how often are you gonna be changing your templates probably in the first year since you're trying it out maybe once twice or three times but for the most part once you've uh, figured out the sweet spot you know you set and forget and then you'll only gonna update it or change the template if you need to let's say make a major revamp on your website. Okay, let's quickly compare it with Squarespace. So I've tried this before. Now Squarespace is more of a website builder. Uh, it does have a unlimited uh, storage as well, as you see right here. This is how much they cost uh, uh, annually and then monthly, of course, yeah, will be um, a little bit more. But again, they, they, they're more geared towards website building, uh, like probably for small businesses like e-shops or e-commerce and based on my experience Smugmug is still like more simplified and geared towards photographers who need to create a portfolio a website or just your, your your personal gallery now since Squarespace is not geared towards online backup so it doesn't have the auto upload feature just like the Smugmug now Zenfolio I tried before it feels similar to the Smugmug with some key differences such as uh, the blogging part but if you notice their storage, unlimited storage is only available on the pro plan, which starts at $30 a month. Now, if you build uh, annually, it's $15 a month. So that's double the price of the uh, Smug Mug because you can get it as low as $7 a month for unlimited full resolution photos. Now, if you're thinking of getting Wix for your photography portfolio, maybe, but for storage, you can actually skip this one. Now for techie people, iDrive would be something that you might want to consider. However, it's not a website builder, okay? So it's more of a backup solutions, uh, all in one for your PC or Mac. Uh, and again, it saves it onto the cloud. And the good thing about that is they do have a free version or free um, plan. And then when you, go, when you go to personal five terabytes, which is quite a lot, and it does back up everything, including your RAW. But again, there's no way for you to display or showcase your work since it's a backup solution. So that means there's no gallery or a website. Now, these are reasonably priced, you know, if you're uh, buying a lot of like hard drives. For me personally, I choose to have multiple hard drives instead because I wanna have quicker access to my Lightroom catalog in case I need to edit. Uh, some uh, or re-edit some of the photos but again it's very rare that I have to re-edit or uh, make some changes because once I edit them in Lightroom or Photoshop I archive them set and forget now these are reasonably priced they even back up your network hard drives and even has a great app now one thing to keep in mind is they don't have unlimited option okay I mean five terabytes it is a lot but keep in mind that's only for one user for all your devices and that includes all your files documents and not just photos so that means if you ended up getting this on on top of the 52 dollars a year you ha you still have to spend extra to purchase subscription for your portfolio or website now backblaze it is similar as the iDrive however keep in mind that it's still a backup solution so not meant or intended for gallery or a website okay uh, it goes the other way in terms of pricing. So sixty dollars, uh, one computer versus unlimited device for uh, iDrive, but this one does have unlimited data. Okay, so I would still prefer the iDrive if you're thinking about it. Um, get it instead because five terabytes that's a lot in the year. Uh, if you need to have a complete backup. So in terms of pricing, uh, Smug Mug, you actually get to choose what's the most important to you. Uh, so if, if it's just the unlimited photo storage, then you'll be happy with just the uh, $7 a month or $55 a year. So you save 35% uh, says right there. Now for my needs, I'm currently using the power, okay? Because I do need the personalized domain name. 
And for the most part, that's all I need because I'm not selling my photos online, right? So I don't need the e-commerce feature. So that's why I sell with the, the power. Now I'll be posting some links below so you can actually start your 14 day trial. Plus it gives you 20% off of your subscription. All right, now I'm gonna give you a quick tour in my SmugMug account and also the folder settings. Uh, so right now, this is the upload page. Uh, as you can see, you can actually upload or download the SmugMug app also on your desktop computer, uh, not just on your mobile phone, so you can get the auto upload. Plus the other plugins, you know, Dropbox, Lightroom, Google Photos, if you still have Flickr or Amazon Drive. I personally use them manually, like uh, upload the photos manually from my uh, Lightroom. So I haven't used this feature, but if you if you do, let me know. Hit me on the comments below. All right, now there's the, the basics, of course, and the privacy settings. So you can have unlisted, so anyone that has the link, or only yourself, or if you want it to be uh, visible by everyone. Um, guest uploading, so allows guests to upload on your gallery. Uh, photo protection, so you do get the uh, right-click message. You can even customize it if you uh, wish to you know to protect your photos you can turn on turn off to download so it's like a, a small arrow so you can download all your galleries at once and also require a password same thing with social usually i turn this off and i choose to do the social on my actual uh, facebook account or instagram and uh, shopping i never use that appearance one thing I use a lot is uh, the landscape in the journal settings. The journal is kind of nice because it gets, uh, it gives you a uh, nice, uh, um, like a big uh, preview of the photos. The landscape is more of a thumbnail type. Uh, same thing with the collage uh, portrait. Okay, and one bonus feature is their perks. So you actually get uh, discounts uh, to other vendors as part of the uh, Spugbug subscription or uh, membership. Um, just to name a few, you know, they, they have the Adobe Creative Cloud, that's 25, uh, 25%. And let's just scroll through other stuff here. Uh, you know, the Joby, so 10% off. Uh, Moment, right, so they've got like education, uh, package deals, um, gears basically, and also other uh, subscriptions. All right, that's it. Now to conclude, uh, Smugbug is a photography uh, focused uh, website which include unlimited storage for all your photos including a website builder plus other features like uh, choosing your own domain auto upload using the mobile app both your pc mac or your mobile device um, they do have the e-commerce or uh, like shop set up online if you wish to uh, sell out your prints so even if you check other reviews online they all say that uh, the smug mug is geared towards most photographers. While there is no free plan available, the prices are actually reasonable compared to others. And again, don't forget to use the link below so you actually get 20% off of your subscription. Okay, that's it guys. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe or comment down below if you have any other questions and I will respond to them. And see you in the next video.